is that? Wow, look at that thing. Hey gang, welcome back. And it's another day and another kind of old home hunt with Headless Steve. So let's see how we did today right now. Probably a penny here. 84. Oh, not a penny. Look at that. It's an old key. It's a General Motors uh, <laughs> door key right there. The square ones were the ignition ones. Go. So just to refresh, we're running the XP Deus and the Equinox 800. I'm starting with the Deus, and then we'll flop to the uh, 800 shortly. Here's a 96. It's a little bit faint. Ground's starting to set up right here, too. It's a little, little freezy. In the, uh, in the plug. I see it. Look at this. I see a silverish right too. Looks like a silver quarter. That's going to be a uh, Washington quarter. I can see the eagle. I'm going to clean it up at home. But silver quarter, number one. Headless Steve over here got this. I think it's a pickle or an olive fork. I'm not sure. I don't know my colory that well, but it says New Kenmore Hotel on it. Sorry about the wind and road noise, but it had to be done. This place needed a dig. Signal. That <laughs> sounds pretty nice. What's that? It's almost like some kind of jewelry or snap. I think it's some kind of snap. I don't know that it's jewelry, but it might be. Thing signal. <laughs> I like that. That sounds high 80s. Oh, look at that. It's an Indian. 1880. Nice. Love finding old coins. 61, 62 signal, but it's a little chunky. That's a nickelish range, but being how chunky it is, it could be a pull tab. Okay, I did move it some. Oh, what's this? What the heck is that? It's almost, it's like a pewter something. It might have been a drawer pull made of pewter, it looks like. That's a strange one. In line with this bush here. Ah, there might be two signals here. One sounds good, one sounds clangy. Oh yeah, it fell out. I got a penny. Looks like another penny. Uh, look like another weedy to me. So we're eating our weedies today. We're gonna get big and strong so we can dig older coins. Oh yeah, what is that? Steve found this thing. Be careful with it. It's like a sailboat. Yeah. I wonder if that was some kind of watch fob or something. That's ornate as heck. That's awesome. Nice find. Foil. 10, 11 at four inches. Here we go. What is that? Wow, look at that thing. What on earth is it? It's an iron backed button. That is hugely cool. It says it's really shallow. It's a 17. So we'll see what a shallow 17 is all about. Let's try probing it on the surface first. Maybe just below the surface, so it could be that shallow, I suppose. Wasn't tapping the coil any. Yeah, what do we got here? Oh, cool. It's a little car. I scraped it a little bit. But it's like a little Tootsie car or something. That's awesome. This is a six inch. 21, 22, it's lower than a coin usually is, unless it's an Indian. They kind of hit down there in that range, but it's a good signal regardless. Wow. This place has some buttons. Look at this one. That's crazy. I like the sound of that. It's upwards of 27 sometimes. Oh, what's that? It's a 
two-piece button. It's got almost like a star on it. And we're gonna have to be delicate and clean that up. But mid to late 1800s. 2021 right here and it's shallow. So let's see what we get. Oh, look at this. What do we got here for a coin? A zinc penny, yuck. This is that coin, and there's a reason why I'm showing you a 2019 Zinken. Stay tuned. That's interesting. Kind of a high tone false in there, I guess, but it's a 2627. Whoa. What's this? Hey, Steve. Some kind of copper, right? Yeah. It's thick, so it's probably a large son, I think. That does look like a Drake bus. That's I don't know. You guys looking at it right now? So I think this is definitely the first time I've done this. We got 1798, 1889, 1911, and 2019, marking four different centuries of pennies with a copper quadfecta. We can pretend you're copper, Mr. Zing Penny. It won't hurt. It's definitely kind of a bogus signal. <laughs> But there's iron there too, so it could be the iron, we'll see. So I'm cutting in here because I've been using this aftermarket battery for the GoPro and for whatever reason it lost the second part of the footage, it just turned white. So this is what that bogus signal was, this kind of neat gold-plated bird pin. So I'm kind of happy to have that and surprise the day, I just didn't really like the signal. Wow, what a great hunt. And if you enjoyed, click on one of the videos on the left right now or click the subscribe button on the right to join us next week for more four-season all-terrain treasure hunting. Have a great day.